Well, hello there. Are you here for the con as well? Mm. <laughs> well, you're still wearing your badge, so... You don't need to be embarrassed. I forget I'm wearing mine all the time. But I can guess why you're at the bar, if you like. Sure. Okay. You want to sleep, but you took a midday nap in preparation for a very late event. So now you can't drift off, but you didn't want to wake up the other people in your hotel room, so you figured you'd get a drink. <laughs> no, I'm not psychic. It's just the story of most of us who are in here this late. Oh yeah, come downstairs, drink a few drinks, go back upstairs, toss and turn, wake up exhausted and probably hungover, then rush over to some event that you scheduled at probably 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> because it seemed like a good idea at the time and then you're trapped in the vicious cycle of midday naps and absolutely no sleep <laughs> okay so your events at 9 a.m. then you are gonna be really tired what are you doing ah an old gods of Appalachia RPG. What would you say if I told you I'm doing that one too? No, I'm not kidding. I am. Oh, I kind of hope we'll be at the same table. Yeah, it would be fun to be exhausted with another person. Kind of share in the pain. <laughs> Have you played the system before? <sighs> yeah, me either. I heard it was based on the podcast and I was like, oh, that sounds really cool. Yeah, there's a podcast. It's a horror podcast. I was actually listening to it before you sat down. Wait, why are you apologizing? I said hello to you. Yeah, I'm actually really glad you decided to talk to me. Um, because... Okay, this, this might sound a little rude. Um, I really wanted your attention. Yeah, um, <laughs> you're pretty cute, and your costume is really doubling that, so... I... Uh, I mean it. I love what you did to your eyes. Yeah, um, the makeup really makes them pop, and I am having a hard time not staring at you. I can... I can try to stop if you like. Okay, that's a relief. Um, I, I never know how to approach strangers at bars. Especially really cute ones. I'm always worried I'm being kind of forward. I'm, uh, I'm relieved you don't mind. Would you want to listen to the podcast together after we got a few more drinks? The nights out here are pretty quiet. I can give you an earbud and we can walk outside together. Try and expedite the sleepiness we're both missing. That's great. <laughs> Maybe it'll help us prep for the game tomorrow. I wonder what system it uses. The cipher system. What is that? I've, I've never heard of that one. Okay, so the DM sets the difficulty, and you can try to decrease it to lower what it takes to pass the roll. Is that about right? 
Okay, it's like a very simplified explanation. <laughs> Got it. Well, I, I think that seems pretty straightforward. That's kind of a huge relief. Oh, I, I don't mind crunchier systems, but at 9 a.m. in the morning, after almost no sleep, and while well, potentially having an attractive stranger at the table, I would be distracted in more ways than one. So, the simpler the system, the better, if you catch my drift. Exactly. I'm not exactly going to be making my rolls or strategizing appropriately if I'm focused on your lips for the entire roleplay. So, is this your first con? No. Well, yeah, I, I am kind of surprised you have this excitement about you. Like you want to take everything in. Oh, that's from talking to me. <laughs> well, aren't you a flirt? I bet you say that to all the wood fairies. <laughs> oh, come on. My costume has nothing on yours. Yeah, it's just some fake ears and Ren Fair clothes. It's not a big deal. Fine. I will take the compliment. And maybe capitalize on the goodwill you've just given me. Yeah, I just want to ask for a teensy tiny favor, if that's okay. Yes, I promise it'll be very small. Well, um, these bar stools, they don't really have a back to them. I'd love to be able to slide into one of the booths over there, and I wanted to know if you wanted to sit next to me. Yeah, not across, next to me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's pick up our drinks and uh, scooch in. <sighs> oh, that is so much better. I think I might be more exhausted than I thought. Yeah, if you didn't walk in, I think I would have crawled back upstairs to sleep. Oh, I've been here since the start of the event, so I think it's just starting to get to me. It's your first day? No wonder you've still got energy. Well, that and... Are you drinking an espresso martini? Looking to stay up with me. That is very sweet. And I better order one, or I am going to fall asleep on your shoulder while you are stuck being awake all night. Share yours. Yeah, that would actually be awesome. I don't want to get up. <laughs> Do you mind if I take a sip? Okay. Mmm, that is delicious. Let's hope it does its job, huh? Yeah, I don't want to leave you up all night alone. Where are you from, by the way? I don't think I asked. Hmm. I'm surprised by how much that disappointed me. Oh yeah, you live really far away. Don't suppose I can convince you to move to New York. Oh, you'd, you'd live with me, for sure. Yeah, we would be really good roommates, I can tell. Would we be just roommates? Well, 
I think we can figure that out as we go along, right? Hmm. Move in to where you live. Well, what's it like living by you? That sounds really nice, actually. What do you do for fun out there? Wow, you actually get out way more than me. Yeah, nine out of ten days I'm holed up in my apartment. No, I don't think I'm exaggerating. If I wasn't here, I'd be home playing Baldur's Gate. It was actually my plan for when the con ended, but now... I don't know. Maybe I'll extend my vacation a little longer. Stay with you for a few days. See if your home is as magical as you described it. Yeah, you made it sound... kind of like a different world. I'd like to see if that's true. Though... I don't know if I can make such a... rash decision... with a man I haven't even... kissed before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Would you... wanna help me... sort this out? 